General Santos, Genson to the locals. Manny Pacquiao's family relocated in the mid-1980s from the mountains to this city, where harvesting tuna from the Celebes Sea is the leading industry. Those not involved in bringing fish to market, even young children, are expected to help provide for their families. When I wake up in the morning, I'm thinking, how can I um, do work today and earn money for my, for my mother you know, to, to, have, to buy food? Every morning, their single mother gathered her six children and prayed that food would find its way to their table. My mother, oh, what are we going to do? We don't have food. We don't have rice to cook, and, and, uh, you know, just drink water. And just just drink water for, to survive. You know, tomorrow maybe we we can we can find some. Dito ang daanan masikip. Tinis ko lang ito. Dito, dito, dito kami nakatira. There is a boxing uh, match every Sunday in in Jensen, and I heard that. When you fight, even you lose, you have money. After, you know, after that fight won, I won, and I, I, I get 100 pesos, 100 pesos. So, on, on that time, I can buy a one kilo of rice, only four pesos. 100 pesos big. With no apparent future in Jensan, the 14-year-old Pacquiao took a drastic, desperate step. He jumped on the boat, hoping, hoping that through boxing, he can save his family. When I was in the boat, when I was the boat, I was crying. And I was, I'm about to jump up and go back, change my mind. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I can come back to my family or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing about in Manila. I cannot speak Tagalog. I cannot even speak Tagalog. You know, Tagalog, Manila is different language. Hope for eight stowaway boxers from Jensan lay in the capital city. Pacquiao arrived in the teeming Manila port with virtually nothing. Soon, he was appearing on locally From televised bouts. Santo City, Pacquiao. He's looking for a coup de grace, and he cannot pass. It's oh, over. He stopped it. It's over. December 1995. Pacquiao and his friend from Jensan, Eugene Baratag, both 16, found themselves fighting in back-to-back -back bouts on the same card. Eugene Baruta. Baruta. The fight is very um, intense. And, uh, a lot of action. A lot of action on, on that fight. And Eugene Baruta was defenseless. He took all the heavy blows. And as round eight expired, I saw and I can still recall to this day how Eugene Barutan took his last breath. And when he went to his corner, um, when my, my trainer put the water in his mouth and, uh, and then when he drank the water, I think the water goes to his Knows in it. It goes like that. There was not the presence of any medical team to try and revive an unconscious Eugene Baruta. How did you find the courage to get in the ring after you saw that? It's a very good question because he's my close friend. When he, you know. I feel so bad on that time because I have gloves in my hands and I would I go this 
and then I look at his eyes and you can do it, you can make it, come on. Then he goes, his eyes like that. And just, you know, he just looks straight like that. And he's not, he's not breathing anymore. After attempting to help revive his friend, Pacquiao stepped into the ring in the night's main event. We have the upcoming Manny Pacquiao, blow by blow baby. We will have more details as we go on. Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao. He could have quit that moment because it was tragedy unfolding or that unfolded right before his very eyes. Jobs. Bago mag-show na uppercut! Dalawang uppercut by Manny Pacquiao! In but my mind is hidden like a revenge. No! I want to fight. Even, even though he, he died already, you know, I will continue our dream. I will continue our battle. Pacquiao won that night to raise his professional record to 10-0. But he is not fighting back. Oh, good move by Manny Pacquiao to the face. Down for the count. Uh, he won 14 of his next 15 fights, claiming his first world title in 1998. Ladies and gentlemen, Manny This is reality. Manny was reality TV before reality TV was even invented. Perhaps the greatest reason Manny Pacquiao, who was elected to Congress in 2009, is revered above all other Filipinos, is the multitude of challenges he has embraced and ultimately overcome. I want to inspire them not to, to surrender whatever circumstances they are facing in, in life. I want to encourage them that uh, there is hope.